Ontario is expensive, mad expensive. The average price for a home in Toronto is just shy of $1.1 million. And that's considering we've already experienced nine months of straight decline. The Hamilton area? Well, that's not that much better either. The average price of a home is just shy of $800,000. Better than the GTA, but still pretty pricey. Well, maybe buying's not the option. What about renting? Maybe that's the way to go. Well, in Toronto, the average rent for a two bedroom is $33.50. So renting's expensive still. So if you want to live in Ontario, what options do you have for a shelter that does not cost an arm and a leg? In this video, I'm going to go over the 10 cheapest areas in the province where you can buy a home for 200k, where you can buy a home for 300k and not be chained to a 40 year mortgage. Yes, you're not going to live in a metropolis like Toronto, but that's reality. There are still hidden gems in this big province where you can live a quality life with some amazing cities and some amazing towns. The province does not start and end with the GTA. The province is home to 15 million Canadians and there are cities and towns with a lower cost of living. And in this video, I'm going to show you the 10 from least expensive to most expensive. And what's really interesting is that even the most expensive area on this list is two thirds of what you will pay for a comparable home in Toronto. If you have the ability to work anywhere and still want to stay in Ontario, this list is for you. First up is Rainy River, Ontario. It offers one of the cheapest places in Ontario where you can live and establish a quality life. It's located on the northwestern part of the province and it's situated on, well, wait for it, Rainy River. This is a small town that borders Minnesota in the United States and offers affordable real estate. Buying a house here will cost an average of $150,000. And if you really want to go fancy, you can buy a mansion for $300,000 with four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and over 2,400 square feet. Rainy River does not have any apartments for rent because it's in a small northwestern part of the province, but you can rent cottages for less than $1,000 a month. And the next major city that you can drive to is Winnipeg, which is about a three hour drive away. The average cost of living in Rainy River, Ontario is 37% lower than the entire province's average of cost of living, which makes sense considering if you buy an average home here, your monthly mortgage, you're looking at about 900 bucks a month. Sticking with the river naming convention, next up is Deep River. This is another small town where the streets are shaped after their natural geographic shapes. Deep River is located about 200 kilometers northwest of Ottawa, right along the Ottawa River. It's also home to the famous Canadian Clock Museum, if that's your thing. The average rent for Deep River Ontario is about $1,400 for one bedroom. Now that may sound expensive, but you have to remember that's because there are limited options based on where it's situated. But what's interesting is that you can buy an average house for about $300,000 in this little area. The average asking price for a home in Deep River Ontario has dropped by 48%, and the number of homes available for sale has gone up by 3x in that same time period. This town has a population around 4,200 and the common language spoken is French. Makes sense considering it's right near Quebec. Deep River has an average cost of living that's 27% lower than compared to the average for Ontario as a whole. The median family income is around $80,000 and your average monthly mortgage will only cost you $1,700 and that's with today's higher rates. Now the names will start to get more familiar as we work our way through the list. I'll be completely honest with you, I had never heard of Rainy River, Ontario or Deep River, Ontario, I did not even know where they were on the map until I began the research for this video. So a big shout out to you guys if you are watching from that region. I would actually love to hear from you in the comments section down below how life is like in those areas in case people are looking to actually move themselves from expensive Toronto to affordable Deep or Rainy River, Ontario. Next up on the list is Thunder Bay, Ontario, and it's actually one of the larger cities in Ontario. If you're thinking about renting in the area, it's actually a very good option because rent has been relatively flat year after year. And not to mention, it is one of the sunniest cities in all of Eastern Ontario. It gets around like 2200 hours of sunlight each and every year. It is also the first city in Canada that implemented daylight savings time and is home to more than 100 parks as well as North America's largest grain storage facility. The average rent for a one bedroom, you're looking about $720. If you want two bedrooms, that'll cost you just shy of $1,200 a month. The average price to buy a house in this area is $360,000 for a single detached home. The average cost of living in this area is around 1,200 bucks. That's without factoring in rent or a mortgage. The town has a population of about 110,000. And if you get that average size house, it'll cost you around $300. Your monthly mortgage payment will be just over $2,100 at our current interest. And a fun fact about Thunder Bay, Ontario, Due to its position at the end of Great Lakes Navigation on the Canadian side, Thunder Bay is sometimes called Lakehead or 
Canadian Lakehead. That's why the university in the area is called Lakehead University. Number four on the list is Sault Ste. Marie, located on South Central Ontario on St. Mary's River close to the Canada-US border. Sault Ste. Marie is the third largest city in Northern Ontario after Sudbury and Thunder Bay. The average rent for a one bedroom will cost you around $1,100 and two bedrooms you're looking at about $1,200 or so. If you're looking to buy an average single family detached house in Sault Ste. Marie, you're looking at around $380,000 or so. The also has a population around 72000 and the cost of living is around $1,000 that's without factoring in rent or your monthly mortgage payment. And speaking of mortgages, your average monthly mortgage costs you around $2,200 at our current mortgage rates. Not bad considering the average family median income in the town is around $56,000 or so. What's really interesting is that the prices of homes and the cost of living between Sault Ste. Marie and Thunder Bay are not all that different. They're pretty much line in line, which is interesting if you consider the fact they're about an eight hours drive apart. Heading over to Southwestern Ontario, Next up is Sarnia, which is number five on our list. It is located where Lake Huron flows into the St. Clair River. Sarnia is actually the largest city on Lake Huron. Sarnia actually has one of the warmest climates in all of Canada and also gives you easy access to the US considering it's also a border town. Sarnia is also home to a very crucial natural harbor. It is important center for lake freighters and cargo ships that are train and patrol. The average rent for a one bedroom in Sarnia is around $1,200. The average two bedroom rent is around $1,350. Now the average price to buy a single family detached home, that'll cost you around $480,000. The cost of living in Sarnia is around $1,104. That's without factoring your rent or your monthly payment. Population of Sarnia is around 72,000. Now this is where you'll start to see your monthly mortgage payments start to creep up on my list of the 10 cheap places in Ontario. Buying a single family detached home in Sarnia at our current mortgage rates, you're looking at an average monthly mortgage around $2,800 for that single family home. We're getting to the part of the list where you're going to see trade-offs where your monthly mortgage payment for a single family home is going to be above $1,000. But on the flip side, you're going to be closer to more livelier areas where there's more populations. If you're okay with a monthly mortgage payment that's above $3,000, you want to be in areas that are a little bit more livelier, that have a larger population, more urban sprawl, and are okay with a larger monthly mortgage that's above for single family homes. The next five on this list are for you. Next up and number six on our list is Windsor, Ontario, which is just across from Detroit, Michigan. Windsor actually has the most affordable rent out of the 15 most populous cities in all of Ontario. It also has an important railway terminal and a Great Lakes port of entry from the United States. And for a one bedroom in the area, well, you're looking at around $1,200 or so. For a two bedroom, it's around $1,500. In order to buy a single family detached home, the cost is $525,000. The cost of living for Windsor, Ontario is just over $1,100 for a person without rent, without a mortgage payment. The population of Windsor is around $230,000 or so. And if you get a single family home, the average price of around $525,000, you're looking at a monthly mortgage payment of just over $3,000 at our current interest rates. But on the flip side, you're in one of the warmest areas of the country and you get access to a Costco and the Windsor International Airport. Number seven on the list is North Bay, Ontario. North Bay is located on the traditional territory of the Nipsing First Nation in northeastern Ontario. The city takes its names from its position on the shore of Lake Nipsing. It is nicknamed the Gateway to the North and has a population around 51,000 people. An interesting fact about North Bay, it was actually developed originally as a railroad center and the major airport was an important military location during the Cold War. The average cost to rent a one bedroom in North Bay, Ontario will cost around a thousand bucks. For two bedrooms, you're looking at around 1350 and the average price to buy a single family detached home, you're looking around $559,000. The average cost of living in the area, you're looking around $1,200 or so for a single person. That's without rent and that's without your monthly payment. Speaking of which, your average monthly mortgage payment in the area at our current interest rates, you're looking at around $3,200 if you want that single family detached home. Sudbury, Ontario, which is number eight on our list. Officially known as Greater Sudbury, this is the largest city in Northern Ontario and the regional capital of northeastern Ontario. Sudbury is also home to the third largest French speaking population in Canada outside of the province of Quebec. It has 330 lakes and is known as the City of Lakes and is home to a major geological structure called the Sudbury Basin, which is the third largest crater on Earth. How cool is that? The average rent for a one bedroom in Sudbury will cost you around $40 or so, and for a two bedroom, you're looking closer to $1,900. In order to buy a single family detached home, Sudbury, you're looking at a cost of $625,000. Cost of living in Sudbury, Ontario is around $1,200 or so without factoring rent or a monthly payment. The city boasts a population around 165,000 strong and your average monthly mortgage 
at our current interest rates for a family home, you're looking at around $3,600. Getting close to the finish line, next up on our list is Peterborough, number nine on the list. Peterborough is a city in central Ontario within the Quartha Lakes region, known as a gateway to the Quarthas or cottage country. Peterborough is located on the Otanabe River. Name also comes from a long association of Canadian General Electric Corporation with the city. The average rent for a one bedroom, you're looking around $1,400 or so. Two bedrooms, that's closer to $1,600. If you want to buy that six family detached home, that'll cost you $700,000. Cost of living in the area is just over $1,000 without rent, without a mortgage, has a population of 80,000 people. If you want to buy that single family home in Peterborough, Ontario, if that's your target area, you're looking at an average monthly mortgage payment of just over $4,000 at our current interest rates. And here's another fun fact about Peterborough because, well, why not? In 1884, it became the first city in Canada with electric street lighting and was nicknamed the Electric City. Number 10 on the list and also the most expensive on this list is Kingston, Ontario. Kingston, Ontario is located halfway between Montreal and Toronto, located at the beginning of the St. Lawrence River at the eastern end of Lake Ontario. It's also located near Prince Edward County, which is an amazing tourist region, West End, and it also has easy access to the Thousand Islands, which is another amazing tour area to the east. Kingston is also nicknamed the Limestone City because there are heritage buildings made out of local limestone. The average rent for a one bedroom in Kingston, Ontario has just over $1,400. Two bedrooms has just over $1,800. Now, the average cost to buy a single family detached home in Kingston, Ontario, you're looking at a cost of $50,000. Cost of living in Kingston, Ontario is just over $1,000 for a single person without rent or without a mortgage. Population is 136,000 strong, and if you're interested in living halfway between Montreal and Toronto, where you can drive to each side within about three hours or so, that monthly mortgage for a single family home, looking at just north of $4,200. If you're tired of paying sky high prices for rent, for a cost of living, for your monthly mortgage, there are a few the lower cost of living, lower rents, and with lower mortgages we talked about. Sure, they may not be the Torontos and the Montreals of the world, we could access some large natural areas, rich, deep local history. If you're thinking of moving to a cheaper city and you still want to be in Ontario, want access to some large green spaces, deep local history, consider one of the cities we just talked about on this list. It's getting more and more expensive to live in large metropolis areas, but sky high cost of living, inflation costing us more and more on groceries, monthly family budgets are just getting more and more squeezed. One of the options is your cost of living by moving to a cheaper area. Now, something to keep in mind, the average price we just talked about in this video was the average price of buying a single family detached house. Find a condo or a townhome, your average cost of buying will be cheaper and so will your monthly mortgage. Something else to keep in mind is that there are many cities that I didn't talk about that could be anywhere between one and 10 on this list. If you have an area you feel that should be part of this top 10, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and making it to the tail end of this video. I have exclusive offers for you the description of this video, some amazing discounts and bonuses. Favor, try one of them out, might find something you like. That's it for now. I'll talk to you in the comments section.